Hey guys, Jay from Unfiltered Fishing here. Uh, just wanted to shoot a quick video on the knots that I'm tying and how I'm rigging up, you know, my equipment. I don't like using barrel swivels. I tie direct from braid to mono with my leader and then to a TA clip. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do that and two different options for each way that I do it on each knot. Uh, then I'll cut to some fishing from the other night. And then at, uh, at the end of the video, I'll show you guys the retrieve speed and the way that I'm working the rod and the action that I'm giving the lure. Okay, guys, well, this is how I, I rig up. I tie direct from braid to a monofilament leader. I don't like using a, uh, a barrel swivel. I feel that a barrel swivel can crack a guide. I know they make tiny ones that they say won't. But that's not a chance that I'm willing to take to ruin a whole trip because I have a crack guide and now I'm snapping off plugs and snapping off fish. So I take the monofilament first and I'm going to tie two different knots, you know, from, from the braid to the monofilament leader. I'll start with the Albright knot and then I'll do what's called the improved Albright knot, also known as the Alberto knot. So I make a loop with the mono, pinch that piece together. I'm going to take this and come up, pull it through, leave a little bit of a tit, you know, enough to work with. Go around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Now I'm going to make sure that. The line is coming underneath, I'm going in through the loop and under. The tag end has to go the same way. It can't go the opposite way. The knot won't work. It has to go the same way. Then we just pull that tight. Then you can moisten it. You can use your fingers or put it in your mouth and, and moisten it. Pull it tight. I'll clip off my tag ends. Trying to make it as close as possible. Right now I'm using scissors because they're here and you can use your clippers or one of those little line clippers. Works fine. You want to try to get this part as close as possible so that the braid doesn't come up and catch underneath. Sometimes the braid will loop around and catch under and the knot will get a little, little off-centered. You could also use a little bit of... Um, little bit of zap, you know, zappy gap or some crazy glue and that'll make the knot even tighter. I usually don't. I don't have this knot slip. It, it holds. But I like to use the improved Albright knot, which I'll show you now. And we're going to do the same thing. Pinch it together. You can go down down or, or in just make sure at the end that that line the braid has to be going out the same way it's coming in I'm gonna leave this a little bit longer I'm gonna tie one two three four five six and seven and then we're gonna come back up the same amount of times And again, right through the same way. And this knot's a little tighter. Pull it tight, push it a little bit. Moisten it up. And you gotta make sure it pinches down on that, on the mono. Pull both ends, make sure she doesn't slip. Again, we'll clip off our tag ends. Scissors aren't the best for cutting braid, but. And there you 
you have you not. I'll just cut a short piece. Usually I like about a piece of two, two to three foot leader. Uh, on the jetty, I'll tie it longer. And the proper way for the clip is for this part to be on the top. That's where your plug is going to slip down onto and get held on so the knot goes in that same spot. You're just going to tie a cinch knot. One, two, three, four. <laughs> five, six, and seven. Back through the main loop on the bottom, right above the clip. And take end. Pull tight. And you have your clinch knot.
Okay, guys, so I realize you really can't see what I'm doing when I'm uh, videoing at night. And it's a very slow retrieve that I'm using for the most part. Lately, that's what I've been doing. Just a very slow crawl of plug. Just staying in contact with that plug. Very slowly. And then just every once in a while giving it a little twitch. Very slow retrieve. a little windy you might have to pick up the speed just to keep in contact with the plug and again this you know isn't the only way it's just the way that I've been doing it lately early in the season the water's cold just crawling that plug a little and every once in a while giving it a twitch Every two or three cranks, just a little twitch of the rod. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video. Please again, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, like the video. Let me know what you guys, what not you guys use. You know, I'm, I'm open to ideas always. Just because I'm using it or doing it a certain way doesn't mean it's the only way or the correct way. You know, I like to see how other people are doing things. So please, you know, leave a comment down below on what exactly you guys are using. And um, thanks again for watching.